colored pencil skin tones. For example, the neutral one, the warm one, the cool one, olive one, the dark one. Now let's look at all these skin undertones together. Grab your colored pencils and join me. Here are the all skin undertones we're gonna look at. Cool, neutral, warm, olive, and dark skin. And we will look at shadows, midtones, and glazes. And shadows are gonna be the darkest one, and glazes will be the lightest colors that we're gonna use. These are all the pencils I'm gonna use. They're from Prismacolor Premier set of 150. You don't have to have 150 pencils, but I have the largest set, and I compared Prismacolor Premier with other pencils before. If you haven't seen this video yet, I am putting up the link on the right top for you. Now let's go back to our skin study. The shadows, I mean the darkest colors of your portrait, I usually apply them first and they are shades of brown and I'm going to show you what colors exactly I'm using. These are the glazes, they are the final layer usually and they are the lightest ones. Um, again, I'm gonna give you the numbers in a second. In the middle of glazes and shadows, we have midtones. They are basically shades of orange, pink, red, and brown. They are super important as they give depth to your portraits. Let's talk about cool and warm. What does that mean? So for the cool skin undertones, you have mostly blue and pink undertones. And for olive skin, which is the second one, you have mostly greenish brown undertones. And for the warm skin, you have red and peach undertones and neutral skin is basically the combination of warm and cool let me give you one example here so i have all these brown shades here and from left to right you will see that they are getting cooler they are having more blue in them rather than red and if you go from right to left then you will see more redness in them how about the olive skin colors you can see that they have all green tint in these colors but 1028 has more yellow in it 941 has more red in it and 1094 has more blue in it so these are the coolness and warmness of the colors let's look at some beige peach and pink colors as well and let's compare them so when you look at these colors i want you to see what i see okay so when it comes to the peach colors like these, like this one and this one, um, you see that it's very warm, okay? So it's getting a warmer uh, tone. But when you see from here to here, it's cooling down. It has more blue tones in it around when you go this way. I usually draw the darkest shadows first. For cool skin, I have 947 dark umber and 948 sepia. For neutral skin, again, I'm gonna use 947 dark umber and 1082 chocolate color here. For warm, I have more redness in them, so I have 1082 chocolate and 946 dark brown. And for olive, I have 948 sepia. For the dark skin, I have 948 sepia and 947 dark umber colors. These are perfect for the dark darkest shadows. So let's talk about cool skin midtones. Sandbar brown is a little bit kind of greenish brown color and it's 1094 and I have 1028 which is bronze. I have 1080 beige sienna, 1093 seashell pink, 1085 peach beige, 1018 pink rose, 1019 rosy beige and 925 crimson lake which is a cool red color not a warm red it's a cool red color for glazes i think the best options are 927 light peach and 1013 deco peach which are mostly pinkish colors and they are not warm pink they are mostly kind of on the cool side as I said, neutral is a combination of warm and cool, and let me show you what mid-tones you can have for neutral skin. 945 Sienna Brown is kind of reddish brown and it's perfect for this. 1028 is bronze again, uh, we used it in the cool color too. 1080 Beige Sienna, 1093 Seashell Pink, again, these are beige and kind of pinkish beige colors. 939 is peach, so we are getting a little bit warmer here. 
140 is eggshell. It's for mostly kind of yellowish tones. 1018 is pink rose, 1013 deco peach again. These colors have a white spectrum between pink and beige, you can see, and this is why we use them in neutral skin because they are a combination of warm and cool. As a glaze, I have 914, which is cream. It's for mostly yellowish skin colors. And 927, which is light peach, it's mostly for more pinkish based colors. Okay, we are going fine. Let's talk about warm skin now. So for warm skin undertones, we have 945 against Sienna Brown. It's very warm brown color. It has a lot of red undertones. And light umber, 941, it is again a very warm color. It can be even used as a shadow sometimes. 1092 is Nectar. And Nectar is a perfect peachy pink color. It's a little bit on the darker side. And we have 939 peach tones. Again, peach is very warm. 923 Scarlet Lake. It's a it's a warm red color, guys. 1001, it's salmon pink. It's not a typical skin color, but you can use it as a mid-tone sometimes. 928 blush pink, of course and 140 eggshell is also possible to use in some warm colors as mid-tones not as a glaze though that's important when it comes to glaze let's talk about beige 997 it's much warmer yellow peachy tone and light peach which is 927 so when it comes to olive it's going to get a little bit greenish undertone you will see especially for the darkest mid-tones that we have. So we have 941 light umber. Usually the umber colors have a little bit of a greenish undertone sometimes. And 1028 bronze also has this undertone. We had here 1085, which is peach beige, and 939, which is peach color we will also add those in a second i brought it closer so that you can see those green undertones much more clearly it is hard to see in 948 but you can see it in 1094 and 1028 much clearly so here after i add 1085 i'm adding the peach color 939 and then 927 light peach and also 928 which is blush pink can be a very good mid-tone in olive skin as well. Olive skin has mostly darker, kind of a brownish or yellowish mid-tones, but you can have sometimes pink too, which I will show you in a second. And for the glaze, we had 997 beige and 1093 seashell pink. Okay, so now we're talking about darker skins. So what is the difference between darker skins and other skins? It has much darker mid-tones and glazes. 1095 black raspberry was a common color that I used usually. It has a very nice red undertones. And I have 945, which is sienna brown. Again, I commonly use it 1082 chocolate and 925 is crimson lake which is again a cool red color and 923 scarlet lake which is a warm red color we can use both warm and cool i use both very commonly 1034 is goldenrod it's a very nice orangey yellowish color 941 light umber and 1028 is bronze if you have a little bit more green undertones and for glaze i usually don't use a color to burnish my portraits my darker skin portraits but 1092 nectar and 1093 seashell pink could be better options here let's look at the cool colors again what we have in our lists and i will show you now a portrait that i drew with cool skin undertones here our baby has a lot of blue and pink undertones a little bit of red as well and i used all these colors almost on the left to draw this baby but i used a little bit too much of yellow if i drew this now probably I would glaze with 927 instead. Neutral colors are right here. As you can see, it's a combination of warm and cool. And I drew this portrait of a girl with these neutral colors. You can see a lot of peachy colors here, some yellow and also some pink. And for my shadows, I had more warm colors. 
For example, Sienna Brown was one of the part of the shadows and you can see that this reddish brown is in the shadow. This guy's portrait also includes neutral colors. It is a little bit like kind of on the warm side, but definitely had more pink and more bluish undertones in places. Let's talk about warm colors and I'll give you an example. These were our all warm colors that we chose. This woman portrait had a lot of warm undertones, a lot of red, a lot of sienna brown, and you can see a lot of pink, peach colors. Also around the eye, you can see a lot of redness and pinkness. So definitely this was a very warm skin. And for glazing, you can see that I used mostly 997. For olive skin, now I'm going to show you a very famous portrait of mine, Harry Potter. And for Harry Potter, I use a lot of 1094. They are mostly green. You can see the shades in the face where the nose is, where the shadow on the jaw is. You can see that they are mostly kind of greenish hues and the darkest shadows are mostly 948. And when it comes to the darker skin tones, now you will realize that my colors are getting a little bit darker. Like in Chadwick Boseman portrait right here, we have a lot of 1095 on the skin and on the lips. And also I have here too, again, a lot of 1095, 945 and 1082. And for glazing, it is very close to the 1093 tone right under in the glazes part. This is it guys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you want to keep watching, click next. <laughs>